tonight, hey Jane, we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be using a square frame. And this is a, looks like a 14 inch square frame. Hey Sandra. Hey Audrey. And I'm using this sign. Um, fresh pumpkins. So I'm going to put that right in the center there. So that's why I decided to do the square one. Hey guys, I just posted on my page, Susie Brown's offering shipping if you buy like a um, glue gun holder with a mesh, um, mesh roller. So go check it out on my um, page when we're done. All right, so I'm going to be making this. Hey Sherry. Alright, so what I did was because the sign is big. Oh, you did? Okay, is I'm going to put the sign right in the middle, right? So as you see, like that fits perfectly in the center of the square wreath frame. Okay? So instead of putting mesh on two rows, I'm just going to put it in the center row. Casey! So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try it and see what it looks like. So, let me bring you guys down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing instead of me. Okay. Yeah! Alright, so, we're going to see how this works. Now, this is mesh from Michaels. I don't use it a lot, but, um, so it's 12 inches rather than 10 inches wide. So, that's kind of why I'm using it. And we're going to do the ruffle method. So, um, okay, the, the sign I got from TMI Gifts um, a while ago. I got it a while ago. So, we're going to do the ruffles. Now, what I did was I cut this to 30 inches on the corner there. And I'm going to turn it this way. And then I cut smaller pieces for the center ones. Okay, I only cut these 20 inches. Because they're going to overlap a lot more. And I wanted the, the thicker ones on the corner. It was just, I thought I would try it. I had some already cut. So I didn't want to waste it. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to go with it. So I put the, um, the pipe cleaners a little differently than I normally would on my square frame. So what I did was I put one each on the corners here and then I just spaced these out a little bit because I wanted it to be full. Hello, hello, hello everyone. So I don't know. We'll go with it and see what happens. <laughs> and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So how was everyone's weekend? I think mine was such a blur. It went by so fast. I don't know what happened. But, bam, it's Monday. Hey, Cindy, how's it going? So, I was like, I felt like, I felt like the weekend just, thank you, Diana. I appreciate that. Yes, please share the love if you would, please, please, please. Okay, we're going to make sure that that's... Um, I think I got it at, um, where did I get the frame from? I think it came from Craft Outlet. Hey, Trixie, how are ya? Yeah, I think it was, um, from Craft Outlet. It's a 14-inch, um, wreath frame. The square one. So, again, I'm using, hey, Kelly Jo, I'm using the 30-inch cuts on the corners. Why? Because I started cutting these 30 inches. And um, then I found some that I had already cut 20 inches, and I'm like, well, I'll we'll mix and match them. I know, right, Debbie? Hey, Colleen, it was um, like 92 or 93 here today. It was really hot here, too. So. The mesh I cut, um, the corner ones I cut to 30 inches, and the ones in the center I cut 20 inches. Why? Because I had the 21 inches cut and I just wanted to use it up. Hey Sandy. Hey Christina. How are you? 
And I thought, I'm not going to waste the stuff that's already cut at 20 inches, so I'll just use those for the center pieces, and we'll see how it goes. If I need to add more, I'll add more. Yes, they have the 18-inch frames now. Um, I know I've seen the 8-inch frames. Nope, no rain yet, did you, Debbie? Nope, no rain here yet. So... Oh, okay, so I went, speaking of the Dollar Tree, I went to my Dollar Tree today because I had ordered some um, Christmas tubing, a box of the Christmas tubing, and so I was asking him, the manager, about the pumpkin frames, and I was like, I can't find them anywhere. They are nowhere in my area, and he said they're now the Dollar Tree, I guess, main headquarters or something is now sending things to different zones. So it depends what zone you're living, working, um, you know, the stores are in. You may get them, you may not. Um, and I said, well, I finally found the um, witch hat ones at a different store near here. And he says, oh, that's because they're a $3 million store, so they're the only ones around here that are allowed to sell them. So I guess depending on how well the store does or something like that um, and whatever zone they're in you may or may not get like the pumpkin frames or the um, witch hat frames so that's how he explained it to me you have tons of them I cannot find them Joanne I can't find them in any store near me not one yeah, it doesn't seem fair. That's what I said to him. And I'm like, yeah. And you can't buy the pumpkin frames online because I tried to look them up and purchase them and they're not even on the website. So, he didn't have an answer for that. <laughs> I know. I wanted to try some, Christina. I should have you send them to me. I should have you send me a couple. I would just like to try them. Um, I'll have to get with you afterwards and see what the shipping would be and all that because I'm sure they're bigger so yeah I don't know I was just like come on I'd really like to try them um, but couldn't find them anywhere so that was his explanation yeah I guess it depends hey Renee I guess it depends on the zone because that's how he explained it to me he said it depends on the zone that the store is in and I guess um, how well the store does or something so I don't know yeah the um, the the witch hat ones I only found in one store near me and that was um, he said because they're a three million dollar store so Kathy how you feeling girl so in the Hamilton New Jersey store I have to go down to Philly either Thursday or Friday of this week. So I want to look in one of their stores down there and see if they have any down there. No, I didn't see them either. Someone, um, you know, they've been posting them online that they found them, so I don't know. Oh, you live in Maryland? Oh, that's close. Cool. No, it's not. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, corner one. Hey, Chrissy, how are you? Have you seen any of the um, Dollar Tree in the Dollar Trees, the um, pumpkin frames down there, Chrissy? Hey, Marianne. Thank you. Yeah, this mess is from Michael's. It's not... Um, great, but yeah, there. Um, I bought a case of the pump, uh, the candy cane ones like two years ago, and I still haven't used them all. So I think Marge. I don't know. I think from what everyone it looks like, I think everyone's just kind of weaving stuff in and out. It looks like I'm not sure. But that's what it looks like they're doing. Yeah, it's crazy. And I found a couple witch hat frames. Um, 
in one of the stores near me. And you can't find the candy cane ones. They're in the stores all over here. So if you need some, let me know. I can go get you one. Or a couple. How many you want, Joanne? Hey, Brenda. Yeah, they're out already in the stores around here. The candy cane ones. So I guess, I don't know, maybe they're not as... I mean, you would think they'd be pretty popular, but... So I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, so this is the last one. Uh, they have the witch frames and the... Yeah, I think some of them, you know... Like I said, I the, the the way he explained it to me was it depends um, where what zone you're in. Yeah, I think the witch hats can be used for a lot, like Christmas trees and all kinds of stuff. All right, so that is what it looks like. Yes, I have used the unique and the creek ones. So as you can see, I'm not. I didn't put any inside because look how full it is already right so we don't need all that stuff so what i did do was i made some of my um oh boy i made my um ribbon flowers okay yeah i do that i do that too for the candy camels okay so whoops and it stuck to my mesh so i made my ribbon flowers and I'm going to put these on the corners, I think. So, what I did was... Hi Kim, I did the mesh at 20 and 30 inches. So, and I cut these to 12 inches. And what I was thinking... I'm not sure yet where I put them. I'm thinking because my um, my two mesh here, I'm thinking I'm going to put them in this, I'm going to make kind of a little bundle and put it in the center because um, these aren't centered. I know, I love making those flowers too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed this right in the center, down through the mesh. I'm just going to see how this looks. See if I like it. Oh, thanks. I love making those ribbon flowers. Okay, so... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I like. I might want to add more ribbons. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. We will see. So, I'm going to cut this off. And I did these ribbon flowers at 7 inch strips. Gonna see how I like it. I'm gonna put it right over the pipe cleaner. And I wanted them on the corners, so I made um, four of them. Hey Debbie, how are ya? Kathy! And I think this is just gonna be plenty of ribbon and stuff. Okay, so I put that in the corner, and then one there, and I think I'm just going to cut these pipe cleaners off. And tuck them under. Hey, Lisa! Okay, and then put and those you can't even see, but I'm going to go ahead and cut them off. I'm thinking, Patricia, that she means splatter mesh, maybe? I don't know. You know. I might make smaller ones and put them here, but we'll see. We'll see what we think. Hey, Teresa, how are you? 
All right, so I'm going to get my other flower. Cut this off. Hey, Pat. Everyone say hi to my sister, Pat. It was her birthday yesterday. Of the screen splatters or the splatter like this? Is that what they call it? This? Is this what you're talking about? From the Dollar Tree? Oh, they make pumpkins. Oh, okay. What did I just do with that flower? Do I have it here? Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't think I've seen that. I don't think I've seen that at all. Hmm, I'll have to check that out. And I'm not pulling down into it so it pulls it down into the wreath. I'm just, um, the splatter screens are for cooking. Oh, and they make pumpkins out of them. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. And I kind of want them to sit on the corner. They have a Dollar Tree group? Okay. Yeah, I, I must have missed that one. Two splatter screens make a pumpkin. Oh yeah, I saw this, um, the splatter mesh. They call it mesh, but it's really not. But at my Dollar Tree. So I bought some to give it a try. See how I like it. I do. I've made them in, um, I've made them a couple times, the flowers. I just was like, I did make my shirt. Do you like it? I don't think you can see it. It says, I can't. I'm crafting today. <laughs> I know, isn't it pretty? The mesh came from Michael's. Whoop, whoop. All right, so like I said, I'm just going to feed this right through the mesh in the middle because I don't want it. Three splatter screens make a pumpkin. I don't think I've seen that. I'll have to check that out. I have not seen it. Oh, Colleen, you'll have to um, post a picture and show me. I don't, I, I have not heard of that one yet. Okay, I'll have to look because that, that one I have not seen. I must be living under a rock with that one because this is the first I've heard of it. I actually bought some, um, which I haven't done yet. Some, uh, because we have a lot of screens. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I haven't heard that. I'll have to check them out, that's for sure. Oh, you did? I love these ribbon flowers. I really do. I I don't know. I think I'm kind of addicted to them. I feel like I make them all the time, but I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I do. You have there is like a thick tool. Yeah, the, um, yeah. It's, it's like a tool, and it has, um, it has like splatter stuff on it. The fabric plates. Nope, I haven't seen those. I'm telling you, I must be living on a rock. I have done um, the ribbon flowers on other um, lives. I just didn't want to do one here tonight because I'm running late. So that's why I didn't do one here tonight. 
I went ahead and got them done ahead of time. The mesh is like a cream, it's like a cream and white mesh. It comes from Michael's and it's 12, um, that's true, and I haven't seen those either, the splatter, I must be under a rock. I haven't seen them. Um, the mesh is cut to 20 inches, but this is from Michael's and it's 12 inches long instead of um, 10 inches. Yeah, I haven't seen them. I must be under a rock. That's okay. I, I was going to be late getting on here, so... I do. They're in, they're on, um, if you look on my page under videos, there should be one on there that shows you how to make the flowers. Yeah, Michaels, I don't, I like this color mesh from Michaels, so that's why I bought it. I don't usually use their mesh unless I don't cut it, which like their, um, <laughs> their 21 inch mesh with the um like that you use the poof method I use all the time but three stacked I'll have to check them out <coughs> excuse me thank you Brenda So I'm just, like I said, doing the flowers on the corners and, you know, it really is not taking a whole ton of material. It used one roll of mesh and then, you know, not that many flowers or not that, you know, four flowers and, um, you know, what, four pieces of, of uh, ribbon. So this is going to be, you know, when you do craft shows and stuff, it's good to have some less expensive wreaths because this one isn't, you know, it's taken not near as much ribbon. Now it's taken a whole roll of mesh, um, but it won't be as expensive. You were looking for the candy cane ones. Um, Patricia, you're on my page. It's just wreaths by Busy Bees Custom Creations. Thank you. The ribbons I cut 12 inches because I didn't want to cut them real long because um, I wanted to see some mesh, you know? I didn't want to cut them super long. And this, I'm just feeding it right in through the mesh and tying it down that way. Thanks, Portia. See, I'm just feeding it into the mesh and then just twisting it off like that. Okay, see? Alright, and then like I said, this sign is already, you know, it's pretty big, so it's going to sit right there, but it's got plenty of stuff in here. Yes, it's 12 inch mesh from um, Michaels. Yeah, I got this from TMI. This is, if you can see it, the item number is A, P as in Paul, 8280. So if you look um, on any of the websites, Craft Outlet, that kind of stuff, you'll probably find. Um, this sign if they if it's in stock <laughs> thanks Christina all right you guys know I always put I'm gonna go ahead and use this since it's already there and then I use popsicle sticks so the pipe cleaners don't go through the sign Okay, 
perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you know, so you don't always have to use a ton of materials and ribbons and that kind of stuff to come and have a pretty wreath. So, that's why I thought I would show you guys this wreath base. All right, so we'll use this to tie it around, hopefully. Of course, we only need two of them. You're scared to use a staple gun? Why? I don't need three. I'll cut that off without cutting my finger off. <laughs> don't you love it? I love this. I bought it off of um, Etsy, Kathy. Because, you know, I can't design anything. I'm not that talented. <laughs> but I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn. Okay, so then we're just going to put it right on the wreath base and I'm just feeding this through the mesh. Oh no, I know you do have to be very careful with it. I mean you don't want to staple your finger that's for sure. Oh, we did? Yeah, I love my staple gun. I, I just got it from, I don't know, I think it was Lowe's or Home Depot or something. Again, I'm just going to feed this right through the mesh into the corner here. Oh, thank you, Anita. The sign came from TMI Gifts, but I'm pretty sure if um, you look it up on Craft Outlet or anything like that, that they'll probably have the same sign. Okay. And the last one here, feed this one through. Thanks, Angie. Yeah, you know, you don't always have to make an over-the-top wreath. You can kind of simplify it a little bit and not, you know, get so crazy with it, right? Okay, there you go. Now, I'm debating if I want to put little pumpkins here also. Let me see what you think. Um, I got the ra the, the uh, frame from Craft Outlet. What do you think? Should we put pumpkins there or no? Oh, Dora, I don't know why. Mm, I'm not loving that. But I'm thinking maybe... Maybe. You think you like the pumpkin? I don't know. Oh my goodness. I'm sure they have tons of stuff there. Let me cut. 16 inches. Okay, so I don't know if I like it or not. We'll see. No, because that covers up that. Raffi has a good idea. Yeah, I don't like the pumpkins either. But. Oh. 
Oh, that's a cute idea. Um, let me see. I don't know. I'm just trying different things. I like it the way it is. Um, but we'll see. Oh, awesome, Dora. Good. It might just be... Um, I like that. I don't want to cover up the truck ribbon either because I really like it. All right, let's try something. Let's try something. All right, let me put this over here. Now, I normally do not do um, ribbon flowers with one and a half inch ribbon. But let me see real quick. Woo! Let's see. I'm going to play with this one and a half inch ribbon and see. So, how I make my ribbon flowers. Like I said, I don't normally use one and a half inch. Ooh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. That might be too big. Oh, thanks, Christina. Although I really like this ribbon. So let's try it with one and a half. All right, I'm going to cut these six inches. Now, the wider or the longer you make your ribbons, the longer your um, ribbon flower is going to Hey, Sharon, there's my other sister, Sharon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to do eight. I haven't made one of these in a while, so I'm just going to try it. Okay, so I did eight pieces. And when you are doing the flowers, you want to cut from the edge to the folded edge, okay? Rachel, oh my goodness, my whole family's on tonight. My niece Rachel, my sister Sharon. Oh yeah, I did do it on the patriotic wreath, yep. Okay, so you're cutting toward the folded edge. You know what, Christine? I still have that wreath on my door. I need to get that wreath off of my door. And I don't know how this is going to turn out because I don't usually make ribbon flowers with just this. So then you're going to take a piece of your wire and get that ready. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> and I'm just going to fold it in half and have that ready. Okay, so like I said, I don't know how this is going to turn out with a one and a half inch because what you do is you take it and you fold it in half and then in half again. So this is going to be really tiny. That's why I'm, I usually do it in two and a half inch. Okay, I'm going to put that underneath there. But we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Now if I don't like it, I'll try it with the other one. Hey Judy, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. We'll see how it goes. I love this ribbon. This ribbon is from um, Costco last year, and this was my favorite ribbon last year. I used this ribbon. I just loved it. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> right, Christina? So what I do again is I just take it, fold it in half, and again, I usually use two and a half inch, so I don't know how this is going to work out. That's why I did eight pieces rather than the five or six. Fold one edge back, flip it over, fold the other edge back. Hey, Debbie, I'm glad you caught me live also. And if it doesn't work, we'll use the other one. Again, you just take it, fold it in half. They do, I love this ribbon. Well, they have the, uh, they have the um, two and a half to kind of coordinate with it. I did, did I see that one? I don't remember if I saw that one or not. Okay, and fold it back. Yeah, I don't remember if I saw the, the one and a half inch ribbon like that, but I just, I'm telling you, I love, this was my favorite ribbon last year. I think I bought like six rolls of it because I love it so much. I used it so much. I think I used it all the time. But that's okay. So again, you're just going to fold it in half, and it's the same thing if you use 
one and a half, two and a half, three inch, four inch, right, kind of like paper airplanes, exactly. Okay, so, because you want to get a nice crease in there. Like the ribbons there, I used a um, four inch ribbon for that, for the ribbon flowers. All right, so we're gonna try this, see how it turns out. So now what you do is you just kind of line them up like the edge to edge, okay? Sideways, you keep them folded. And again, just edge to edge. Kind of want to keep them, you know, the same size. Hey Tabitha, we're making some ribbon flowers. Edge to edge. Kind of keep it together. I think this is going to be full enough. I think it'll work. Like I said, I, I used eight pieces because you want a nice full flower. When I used the one and a half, I used to use five pieces and then I went to six because I wanted it a little fuller okay so you have them all lined up and stacked nicely okay so then what you do you take your wire and you put it over the ribbon and then I fold it in half to kind of make sure I have it in the center so you can move that before you kind of get it all set all right, then you want to cross the wire and you want to turn the ribbon, not the wire, and that'll get it nice and tight. Okay, then what you do is you spread out your petals. Yep, I think eight was the right thing for one and a half inch. Okay, so it makes a nice full petal. And you can kind of tug on them a little bit if they're not quite the same size but I think that looks pretty good and then I have to find you did Tabitha that's awesome my I don't want to use pumpkins again hold on sorry guys I have to go hunt okay. okay you guys know how I like my um, little doodads here. So these are called jaw, uh, jar fillers and you, what you do is you just take and I put a good amount of glue right in the center there. Okay and then I just put that right there and you want to hold it for a second so that um, it kind of sets and that also helps um, hold the ribbon flower petals in place because it kind of glues them together. And I'm just going to make sure the size is right before I make more. These um, ribbon flowers, I did seven inches. And this, what did I say I did? I don't remember. Yep, I think that's the perfect size. I may have to move it over some. But yep, that's the right size. Okay, so we're going to make three more of those. And you really do kind of want to let it dry so that um, that stays there. So you just use the two and a half. Well, the two and a half, hey Gary, um, the two and a half will just make a, a, like you don't have to use as many pieces. Do you put the center fold up or down? I put the center fold up. So I'll show you again. So we're going to do six inches and I did eight pieces. Two, three, because I wanted it nice and full. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. Now I make these for Christmas. I make these all the time. Thanks, Gary. Okay, kind of want to get them together there. Oh, 
Okay, and then fold it in half. And then you want to cut from the edge to the fold. Okay, because you want that point. So it's not like the dovetail. The dovetail you always fold from the from the folded edge out. But when you're doing these, you want the point, so you want to cut towards the folded edge. Okay. Hey Bev, how are you? All right, let me get my my wire. Fold that in half. All right, here we go. So let me even zoom in a little more. So what we're gonna do? You take it, fold it in half. Get a nice crease in there. Fold one edge back. Flip it over. Fold the other edge back. Okay. Put that under something so it stays folded. And the same thing. So fold it in half. Get a nice crease there. Hey Eileen, how are you? I'm in Pennsylvania also. And fold it back. So you just fold it in half. Fold one edge back. And the other edge back. There you go. You're in PA too? Oh, guys, I have to tell you. I told... Um, hey, Leah. No, I'm from Philadelphia, uh, near the Philadelphia. I'm about an hour outside of Philadelphia. My husband's from Pittsburgh, though. So, we do... He gets out to Pittsburgh more than I do. The, this ribbon is one and a half inches wide, and I cut it to six inches. So, I'm going to be doing a class at um, a local high school. Hey Annette, how are you? And um, yeah, North Hills, right. Hey Neatly. So um, I'm going to be doing a class. I'm going to be doing it in November teaching people how to make a Christmas wreath. So I'm really excited about that. So hopefully if I have any locals on here you'll come out and support me. So I'd love to have you at the class. Hey, Kim Clevenger. I had a dear, dear friend named Elfie Clevenger. Okay, so fold it in half, fold the one edge back, and fold this edge back. Ronnie and Debbie. I don't think I know Ronnie and Debbie. Okay, fold it in half, one edge back, and the other edge back. Okay, so you have, oh it is? Oh, that's awesome. All right, so all the folded edges are facing up. Okay, so you're going to take all of them. Hey Nance, how are you? And remember, you're going to line up those edges. Okay, the folded edges go up. So your folds go up. These look like they're fraying a little bit. So, but that's okay. Do you have that fall away? No, not yet. It was like, what was it here, Nancy? Like, like almost 95 degrees here today. It was crazy. Nancy lives just um, a little... He's from from a silo. Um, yeah, my group is $14.99 a month. If anybody is interested in joining my group, we meet on Tuesday evenings. And I teach you all kinds of things in the group. It is a paid group. And I go into more detail with everything that I teach, believe it or not. <laughs> there is more detail. I know, it was hot. 
Oh, you were by your pool. Well, I, I did see that post, Leah, but I was busy all day. Well, Leah, I would love to do a class in your house. Just invite your friends and I'll do a class in your house. All right, so again, you want to put that there. I fold it in half to kind of check if I'm in the middle. If not, I just move it a little bit and twist. Okay, and then open them up. Yeah, it was hot here today. I mean, I was thinking, holy Toledo. It's like the middle of summer. Like I said, you can kind of maneuver them a little bit. Move them around if one's too long or too short, like that. And then take one of your little um, styrofoam jar fillers. Put a good amount of glue there. And then just hold it. Bye, Lee. Take care. I know I missed you at the game because I was uh, watching the boys. Oh, no problem. Yeah, it was hot here. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. And I kind of like that it's full and some are sticking up and some aren't. So, you know, we're going to go with it. All right. Hey, Sandra from Virginia. Sure, Sue, that's what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to cut these six inches. I'm going to make eight pieces because I'm using one and a half inch ribbon. And um, I normally, if I use two and a half inch ribbon, I just use six pieces. But I want to make sure this is nice and full. So, um, hold on, I'm missing some comments. Um, So I'm using eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. Oh, you've never seen this before? Girl, where you been? Okay, so again, I cut six inch pieces. Now, if you want your um, flowers to be bigger, you just make the pieces longer. If you want them shorter, you just make, you cut them shorter. But these are gonna be six inches and you wanna cut towards the fold okay towards the fold all right hey Kathy um Kathy you can I find them at AC Moore at Michaels they have them they have some at the Dollar Tree um, they don't have a lot of different ones but um, AC Moore Michaels or Hobby Lobby all carry those all right and here we go again. Let me get this out of the way so you can see. All right, fold it in half. Fold this edge back. And this edge back. Now you can make double flowers. You can make single flowers. You can do all kinds of things with these flowers. Um, you really can. They're a lot of fun to make. Thank you. This I got at Costco last year. I, this was like I was just saying, this is my favorite, my favorite ribbon from last year. I love the colors in it. It just is really pretty. So again, any size ribbon, like I said, I made the corner ones with four inch ribbon today. Um, oh, that's a great idea, Kathy. And I usually use two and a half inch ribbon, but I kind of wanted this to match, so I'm using the one and a half. That's why I'm using the um, eight pieces instead of six, so that it's nice and full. Yeah, I sell these um, at craft shows for Christmas. I make Christmas ones, and I think I sell them for $5.00. A piece I think five or six dollars a piece um, and I I sell these at craft shows all the time I take a present with me that's wrapped and I make one and I put it on the present to show that instead of a bow you can do something like this um, you can put them on yeah you can hold it with a clothespin <laughs> 
Um, you can um, put them on a Christmas tree as a decoration, just, you know, a different decoration for your tree. So there's lots of uses for these. One, two, three, four, six. Yep, if you're interested in my group, just type in group. You should get information. And then just follow the link to PayPal. And then once you pay, the, it's $14.99 a month. I will accept you into the group. Okay. So again, fold in half. That edge back. And back again. Oops, I forgot to cut my wire. I have that. <clears throat> okay, here we go. And then folded edge up. We're just going to line them up next to each other. Kind of try to keep them, you know, as close to the same size as possible. Hey Dawn, how are you? Okay, just kind of line them up as best you can. And don't forget to share this please, spread the love. And like and follow my page if you would. Okay, and once you kind of get them all in there, you get your handy dandy wire, and then like I said, you kind of want to keep them all there, fold them in half to make sure it's in the center, and then you turn the flower, not your wire, and that'll make it tighter. And you don't want to turn it a bunch of times because then you'll get bulky back there. Hey Paula, how are you? Okay, and then just separate your petals here. And I kind of like, like I said, that some are sticking up and some are staying down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then take a little bit of glue and put it right in the center there. This does two things. It holds the petals into place and it holds the little jar filler got a little too much that time but that's okay but that way it'll hold the petals there and it holds that in place and this kind of looks nice with some sticking up some hanging down you know kind of mimics more of a real flower okay so we have one more to make and then we are finished with this wreath so again I'm just cutting them so you can see it a little better let's see doing them six inches and I'm using, using eight pieces for the one and a half inch ribbon. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, all right. Okay, then kind of get them all lined up there. Fold it in half. Okay, you want to cut towards the folded edge because you want that point. So it's opposite of what we normally cut, the dovetails. So we want to cut towards the folded edge. Okay. What does the back look like? I can show you. See? That's what the back looks like. So the edges. So you can really, if you like both sides of the ribbon, you could use this side up. It has the sparkly, you know, on the edges. So you could use that side up or this side up. It's totally up to you. Now, you know, a lot of ribbons are one sided. So you'd want to use, oh, let me cut my string here. And you only need this, I don't know, about 10, 12 inches. So depending on what your ribbon looks like, because this is both, you know, on both sides, this you could do either way. Hey Doris, um, but because this is double-sided, you could use it either way.
but normally I would do, sure, I would do the folded edge up, but it depends on the ribbon too and what you want your flower to look like. Hey Tanya, don't forget to share the love please and like and follow my page if you don't. And also on Thursday evenings I do um, a YouTube live so please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey Eunice, I'm trying to build my YouTube audience up, so if you guys could go and subscribe to my page and share that page, my channel, I should say. I would much appreciate it. Okay. Hi, Sharon from Nova Scotia. How are you? Welcome to my page. All right. Okay, again, these are cut to six inches, and like I said, if you cut the pieces longer, your flower is going to be bigger. If you cut them shorter, it's going to be smaller. My, I would say my normal size I cut them is six inches. Hey, Deborah from Manchester. Boy, we got all over today. Nova Scotia, the UK. Welcome. These ribbons were cut to six inches. And all you do is, like I said, you fold it in half. From Australia, whoo! Hello, everyone, welcome. So again, you just take your ribbon, fold it in half, get a nice crease there, fold one edge back, get a nice crease, Fold the other edge back. Okay, and the last one here. Alright, then you take them, and I do the folded edge up, but with this you could do either way because this has a pretty edging on it and the print is the same on both sides, so it really wouldn't matter for this one, but since I did the folded edge down on these, hello from West Virginia, I'm going to do the same. Okay, so again you just kind of want to line them up, kind of try to keep them the same size. Julie, thank you. Okay. Whoop. I don't want it flying right out of my hand. Okay. <clears throat> they like to come undone, but that's all right. Okay, you're just going to keep lining them up next to each other, kind of side by side. Please, if you're new to my page, like and follow my page. Hey Sue from West Virginia. And if you want alerts when I go live, type in live and then follow the directions from my bot. I also have a private group that I teach on Tuesday nights. And I also have wreath kits, all kinds of stuff. I still do have a couple of the um, Halloween wreath kits. I don't know where I put that one. Um, so if you're interested in that, go check out my Etsy shop. All right, so find the center. And then twist your ribbon. Separate your um, things out, your petals. All right. Yeah, I could have put a green, and that could, I should have done that, but I kind of stuck with the orange. So, 
Absolutely. The um, group, we meet every Tuesday night. It's $14.99 a month. And like I said, we meet on Tuesday nights. And I give more one-on-one -on -one instructions. I teach you guys how to match ribbons and mesh to a sign. Um, we do bows. We do um, all kinds of stuff. It's really whatever you guys want. I teach them the differences between met different mesh ribbon that kind of stuff and um, it's just a place you know where you can come and put eight, yeah I put eight pieces in them with the one and a half so you can come and learn at your own pace you can ask questions if you need one-on-one -on -one help I, I'll you know help you there we can do zoom calls so it's a lot more um, interactive and one-on-one -on -one help You just kind of want to. Normally with the um, two and a half inch ribbons, I don't do eight. But for the one and a half, I wanted a nice full flower. So I added, I did add eight pieces. But normally for the two and a half inch ribbons, I would do um, six pieces. Okay, let's turn that off. All right, let's set that one to the side. So that one has a chance to dry. Okay, so we're going to get our wreath here, and I'm going to add this, that does not look like it's in the center, so I'm going to move this over, and untwist that, and add the flower, and then center that a little more. I didn't put it in my tail so okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that flower and put it right on top of here okay and then twist that around get that nice and tight And then center this in here. Okay, bring this around. And again, you don't want to pull it like real tight into your wreath. You want it to kind of sit on top. And that's what that looks like. Oh, thanks, Julie. Yeah, I made, I made it. I love making these shirts. All right, take this one off. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. Hey, Casey girl. Grab my flower and wrap it around here and attach it to the ribbon tails. Hey Cindy! Okay, wrap that around. Hey Rosario, how are ya? Okay, and I'm just going to put it right in the center here. Rosario is in my group. Okay, put that in the center. Hold on, trying to get in there. Okay, tie that down. <laughs> you can always watch the replay. Yep, if you miss it, my videos are always on my page under the video section. Okay, let's get this fixed up. Okay. Alrighty, got 
two more going on here. The ribbon tails I did 12 inches because I wanted to see um, the mesh. I usually do 12 to 13 inches because I like to see some of the mesh. That's just me. Hey Judy, how are you? So um, I like to do a little smaller ribbon tails. And all I'm doing is I'm just taking it around and wrapping it around there. And normally I attach my my um, ribbon tails to the pipe cleaners that are there, but I didn't feel like they were centered, so I moved them around a little bit. Yeah, you can always watch the replay, Darlene. Okay, so I'm gonna move this around. And stick this right here. Hey, Sandy. Where are you from in PA, Elizabeth? I'm in PA also. Okay. And I'm just tucking that wire around, making sure it's tucked under there. Alright, one more to go, and then I think we are done. And I put this, you know, like I said, on the square frame, because I didn't think it would look right when I did it on the round frame. I kind of liked how it would look on the square frame. So I'm just taking it, wrapping it around there. Like I said, if you're new to my chat, my, um, Oh, you're in Pittsburgh. Okay. If you're new to my page, please like and follow and type live in the comments and then follow the directions that my bot is giving you so that hopefully, hopefully, I say that because you never know with these bots if you're going to get them or not. Oh, how would I attach them? I would just take the wire and wrap it right around the package or even glue it on. Hey Susie, welcome. Glad you're here. Hello. Oops. Siri thought I said hey. <laughs> you're from Butler? Okay. My husband's from North North Hills. Um I don't remember if I got these from Michaels or where I got the little pumpkins. Alright. And that is it. So let me turn it around and see what you guys think here. Oop. All right. There it is. <laughs>